Now, once again, shout out to Black Sports Online for posting this story. I received this on my phone from uh, Black Sports Online, their app, um, which is available on iPhone and Android as well. But anyhow, I saw this come up on my phone. I was like, what? That was my reaction. I was like, are you serious? And um, I read the story and it turns out that the quote that Halle Berry was saying regarding quote it's like that old saying goes behind every black panther is a great black cat woman turns out there was a video right and this is um halle berry presenting an award to lena Waithe. shout out to her um she's a great write a writer and uh i follow the show um the shy and I love the show, The Shy, and she's a phenomenal writer. And I had no idea that she was involved. Lena Waithe, that is, was involved in a show called uh, Master of None, which she won an award from at the Glad Media Award for Outstanding Individual Episode. And um, yeah, so basically Halle Berry was presenting an award. And that quote she said regarding Catwoman, she was reading from a teleprompter. So I have two things wrong with that quote, right? First of all, someone else wrote that quote. All right. That someone else wrote it. I don't know who wrote it, but it wasn't Hallie. But Hallie delivered it, obviously. I mean, she co-signed it. Um, now, you know, based off how she was saying it and how it was delivered, you know, more than likely it was a joke, but it was a whack joke. It really was. It was a whack joke. And the writer... Whoever wrote that needs to quit their day job because that was a wag ass joke. You want to compare Catwoman and say that Catwoman was the reason why Black uh, Black Panther was so successful. When, first of all, <laughs> Catwoman bombed in the box office. It's 20 years old. It's not relevant anymore. Um, number two, Eartha Kitt was the original Catwoman. Eartha Kitt. All right. You do, do your Googles. And, and check out Earth the Kit as the original cat woman, a black woman. So what's of Earth the Kit, there will be no damn Halle Berry. I would be surprised if the writer knew about that. Whoever wrote that damn whack ass joke that Halle Berry was reading from a teleprompter. Right. But like I said, not only the, the joke was whack, but it was just so irrelevant. Like if, if this if the joke was regarding comic book related you know i guess topics because you know Catwoman is from a comic book as well as black panther you could have did something that was actually pretty good that halle berry was in which was x-men when she played storm storm was you know she played a good character in storm and some of the x-men movies were good not all of them but some of them that halle berry was involved in were good but Catwoman was trash <laughs> it was trash all right but, you know, the thing about Halle Berry, man, is, you know, she's, well, she, she's 50, over 50 years old. And for me, Halle, there's a reason why Halle Berry can't stay with a man. You know, no matter how good you look, no matter how beautiful you are as a woman, you always have flaws. There's no perfect woman. Everybody has flaws. Everybody has idiosyncrasies. Everybody has vices, some more than others, some less than others. Everybody has, you know, um, things to worry about, right? And that's the case with Halle Berry. That's, you know, as beautiful as she is, she has flaws. Um, and again, like I said, there's a reason why she can't stay with a man. You know, for me, as far as women over 50, I put Nicole Murphy ahead of her. I put Nicole Murphy way ahead of her. But Nicole Murphy is, is just turned 50, you know, got five kids and look at, look at, look at this woman, you know, look at this woman, man. This, this is the definition right here of a cougar. This is the definition of a cougar right here. She's putting 20 year olds, 20 year old Instagram models to shame, you know, 
That's what she's doing. 20 year old Instagram models to shame. Facts. All right. But anyway, going back to Hallie, like I said, the joke was it wasn't it was trash. She was reading from a teleprompter. She was presenting Lena Waithe with an, with an award. And again, shout out to her. She's a phenomenal writer. And I saw the speech, too. I'll have the link to the video where you can watch the the uh, Halle Berry presentation presenting uh, an award to Lena Waithe and Lena Waithe giving a great speech as well regarding uh, the LGBTQ community. You know, she she did a great speech, man. I, I much give her props for that. Regardless of her sexual preference, she's a great writer for real. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this so-called joke or whatever from Halle and the writer who wrote it trash and um, <laughs> you know, it just it just fell flat. It, it really did. It, it fell flat. You know what I'm saying? It, it fell flat. So, all right, family. So those are my quick thoughts about this story. Uh, leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think about Catwoman. Inspired by the world around us. I don't know what that is. A collection of timeless looks that connects you with the ideal space. A variety of textures. Sorry about that, family. That came out of nowhere. Um, let me know what you guys think about the story. Leave your comments down below in the comment section, family. Until next time, Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.